Hello, everybody, and welcome to a... <coughs> oh, Jesus. Ooh. So as I was saying, uh, welcome to a video all you need to know about the Jurassic World Evolution compies that are going to be coming uh, in the newest DLC, Return to Jurassic Park. I'm also drinking this out of uh, my merchandise, which is yet to go up. If you go in the description below, you'll find a link. <gasps> this is all going to be dropping on one day. And including this new revamped hoodie. Basically, it's, it's just a lot better. There's only 250 though, so you gotta be quick. Anyway, compies, yes, I've written out a little list because even though I was able to play the first of the missions uh, and record it, I could not record anything else, unfortunately. So everything that I'm gonna tell you is from what I played. I played mission six, which was uh, we were able to create compies, create tranodons, uh, contain them, and do some other missions, uh, other little tasks here and there. But the main one was to, I guess, give us an overall uh, view on the tranodons and the compies. So, compies. How do we get compies? Well, you research them. Now you can get them just like any other uh, dinosaur, like you have in the deluxe pack, or the, um, you know what I mean, like the Cretaceous pack. You research them that way. And just like any normal dinosaur, you get them from a hatchery. How do you contain compies? Now we might have seen, or you might have seen, um, and I've talked about it, that <laughs> when I pretended not to know, hey, <laughs> that, um, the electric fences have a little bit of mesh at the bottom of them. Um, <laughs> this is going to be really interesting. So they, they have a little bit of mesh. And this, I thought was, okay, you have to add it to the fences. Turns out, when it came to the compies, they are so small. They are smaller than the grass. Um, and I released about six of them into the wild. Uh, oh, sorry, into an enclosure, and um, I was expecting them to meet up and stay quite closely together. I did happen to see some of them occasionally go together, but nothing that I was expecting, like from the Lost World in the Dita Stark scene, where they're all there chasing them all together. And we'll get onto that subject in a minute. Um, but containing them, yes, they can't get out of any fence. Now, the reason why the Jurassic Park fences have mesh at the bottom of them isn't because you need the mesh to stop them, it's to stop us from complaining about it. <laughs> they already knew. That's what I love about it. They already knew that we were gonna complain about it. Already already had an idea. They're like, well, if they're tiny, how come they don't break out? Got you sorted. Shut up. <laughs> love it, I love that. Um, so yeah, that's how you're gonna contain them. Now, when I did the mission, um, I, did, I didn't have a hatchery. What I had was, you know, the the, um, the transport with the helicopter, the, the entrance. I got them from there. That acted as an uh, like a hatchery. Now, I know there is a regular hatchery because I did do a challenge mode in general. Um, and I was able to make dinosaurs from that. Um, it was just, you know, the regular uh, hatchery that's huge, just in the Jurassic uh, Park style, which you would have seen. Um, and this break brings me into uh, the third question I've asked myself. How do you dart compies? You know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't do it. I didn't do it because I didn't think about it. I didn't think, wait a minute, how do you dart these things? I think you do genuinely, genuinely have to dart them manually. Um, so this, 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 and I'm actually, I actually quite like it because it adds an extra depth to the game. Okay, you can make compies, they're really cheap, they're cute, but what if they break out? And if they break out and you made loads of them, well, that's that's your problem, isn't it, mate? And the reason why I think this is great is because it adds a challenge. Uh, so, you know, usually if you're playing the game, you're like, ah, I'll send them to dart those, or I'll send them to dart those. You might end up with a helicopter or something that just can't dart the dinosaurs because they're just too, like, complicated. Um, but also, uh, this brings me on to the second, uh, or sorry, fourth comment I've asked myself in this short little video. Are the compies dangerous? No. They're not. And this bewildered me. I, I, I thought I would get some, you know, every carnivore, every carnivore has a killing animation with a human at least, or something small like a homalocephale. Yeah, because a compie's even smaller than a homalocephale. Homalocephale's chest comes up to the grass. A compie's smaller than the chest. So it'd be like a raptor taking on a sauropod almost. It's, or you know, it's like a small sauropod. Um, 
Yeah, they're not a threat to dinosaurs. They're not a threat to uh, people. I don't even know if they can break out, actually, now that I think about it. Um, it would be amazing to see a compi bust down a concrete fence. Uh, they're not aggressive. Darting is probably going to mean that you're probably going to have to invest in accuracy for your ACU teams. Um, otherwise, they're going to take ages in it, especially if you get a, like a disease breakout. Um, but they look amazing. The sound effects are there. They're like, when they're run, they run a lot. They run all over the shop and they're always like, <laughs> always making these like little sounds that are so cute. It, it is the ones from the Lost World. They look exactly like it. Um, although I couldn't, I also can't say if they had any different skins. I'm assuming they have different skins. In fact, I know I have seen, they, they do have different skins. I've seen a vivid one because it was a purple compi. So yes, the compies do have uh, other skins as well. Um, and you can have them like any other dinosaur. It's pretty much it. And they're not dangerous. However, you can't have them just roaming around your uh, park because it will still say danger to guests and guests will be terrified of them. Unfortunately, unlike JPOG where you could have dinosaurs running around as long as the guests feel safe, they'd be fine. Really wish there was something like that. But uh, that that ends this video with uh, four compies. So if you've enjoyed it, leave a like and watch the next video where I'll talk about pteranodons and how we're gonna, everything you need to know about pteranodons. I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Oh,